Why is it that these Call of Duty developers, or actually developers in general for multiplayer nowadays, can't seem to do anything right when it comes to updating a game? Every time an update happens, every time a new season launches, every time a patch happens, there is always something wrong with the games. And I don't even care if you play games or like Call of Duty, it's just a simple fact that people in this world nowadays seem to be inept, don't seem to be able to do anything that they're paid to actually do, or at least they don't do it properly, and everything is just mediocre at best. As Charlie Intel says here, Modern Warfare 3 riddled with bugs after broken Season 3 reloaded update. It's like Groundhog Day all over again. No matter what studio they are from, always seem to fuck things up. It is crazy. And also, it's for other games as well. Almost every game after I see updates, it's like these people that they're hiring aren't good at their jobs. It's almost like as if DEI, diversity, equality, and inclusivity, isn't a really good thing to do in a world based upon meritocracy, which means based upon merit, not based upon who sucks the most and who has the biggest blown out because they were part of the lgbtq plus community and they taped their balls back while they're going on a friday night trying to pick up women using the men's bathroom identifying as a zebra the modern warfare 3 season 3 the reload update brought plenty of content to multiplayer from the new bal 27 new you mean the bal 27 old gun from advanced warfare because no one can think of any good ideas anymore because no one's got any creativity and so they just recycle old content old movies old tv shows anyways to the arcade playlist however it has also introduced a number of bugs and glitches that have made it a frustrating experience so far every patch is a frustrating experience for every goddamn game so if you don't care about call of duty think about your favorite games is there not almost always a problem they do updates do they not hire people to play test they just close their eyes and like you know randomly push buttons and be like hope it fucking works out since the patch rolled out on may 1st an issue with the auto tax sprint setting has made it impossible to reload their weapon that makes the game unplayable I don't even play Rebirth Island, to be honest, because it's so filled with sweats right now and just people playing like their life depended on it. It's not even fun or enjoyable, so I just stay away from that. Especially while sprinting. I mean, you have to stop running to top up your ammo. That's... That makes it even playable. That's not just like a glitch or a bug. That's like a complete and utterly just can't play the game properly and why bother amazing. The devs have already acknowledged the problem. Well, why don't they acknowledge it ahead of time and maybe do some play testing before they put a patch out? You know, I don't know because maybe they're fucking useless and have recommended players turn the setting off while they work on a fix. How about you recommend doing your job properly, you idiots? But that isn't the only feature that's been malfunctioning since the mid-season patch as the audio has been missing when carrying out certain actions such as reloading or opening a door. I'd like to know, does someone here have any kind of computer science, any kind of programming, anything here? Can you tell me how when a game has already been, you know, the same game for 40 or 5 years with the same engine and the same game for the last 6-7 months since launch and they just do an update, can you tell me how the game gets so broken? Like, I don't understand that. Like, what are these people doing? Are they just, like, deleting files and not even paying attention because they're useless? On top of all this, the animation when throwing lethal equipment hasn't been working properly. It's dead. Instead of seeing your operator throw the grenade as normal, after a brief stutter, the object is suddenly wow, thrown from the bottom of the screen. Ah, shit, here, catch. I've run into all these issues in my own matchmaking during Season 3 were loaded, but there are also other issues that players have been reporting. Reddit user Fuzzy Hotel 6180 Hotel Fuzzy Hotel claimed the update ruined the game and mentioned that movement feels slower and more sluggish than before, something that multiple other replies agreed with. Meanwhile, some mentioned that matches were extremely laggy. Oh, God, I played and I've been trying to play. I've had to turn the game off and turn it back on. It's like as if I had cerebral palsy. And in some cases, crashed altogether, especially on Xbox consoles. Well, that's what you get for buying an Xbox, a piece of shit console, the whole world. Console war in the comment section. PlayStation's the best. There were plenty of other posts across Reddit and X from angry players. I'm angry. I'm blame truth. I'm so angry right now, guys. This game is broken. I hate Call of Duty, even though I haven't played it and I don't know seven, eight months, and I get other people to play my game for me. I'm angry. Go buy a Subaru and be a beta male like me. Calling the patch a disaster and begging the death. We're begging you. Please fix the issues. I don't go play No Build Fortnite. That game's awesome and barely has any problems ever because they. They know what they're doing over there at Epic. They hired the right DEI hirings. So everything in Modern Warfare 3 is broken right now. Got it, said one post. Well, Nara said, this is still only the only video game I've ever owned that gets worse after updates. Well, you must be new to the Call of Duty community because it seems to happen every year. These people suck. As mentioned before, the devs are already looking. Oh, we're looking into it, guys. Like, how about you do that before you release the patch and ruin the game for people who paid for it? You know what I'm saying? You idiots. Players will be hoping that the problems get resolved sooner. No, they don't. We want to have the, like, duh, who the hell wrote this article? This guy got hired. Nathan Warby? Who the hell is this guy? He's a senior writer? More like a dork writer. Boom.
roasted. Hope the problems get real soon. Yeah, obviously we hope the problems get resolved sooner or later so they can get back to grinding the new prestige camos. Oh my god. So, there it is. Um, it's really quite exciting. I don't understand how this happens. Like I said at the beginning of the video, how do these developers, whether it be Call of Duty or Helldivers 2 as my previous video earlier today and how they decide that you have to link your account with Sony now and people are pissed off about that or whether it's Stellar Blade and the developers are, you know, sucking up to the woke freaking mind virus cancel culture because it's too sexy. Can you tell me what's wrong with tits and ass? What's wrong with TNA? Why are people so upset? Why do these Western developers have to make all their girls ugly? Why do liberals hate themselves so much? What is wrong with these people? God damn Damn it, you guys need to wake up and realize what the grok is cooking, brother. And I'm telling you it's the truth. And the truth of the matter of fact is you're all a bunch of brainwashed, industrialized, super other woke down the goddamn mind. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, but you're all a bunch of idiots and you need to pull your head out your asses and realize what you're being taught is indoctrination from Marxism and it's trying to undermine the West while China's taking over and the small hats are, I don't know what the hell's going on with those guys but there seems to be some kind of cabal with them and then you know what we got a bunch of people still wearing masks protesting outside of the universities I don't trust those people who the hell still wears a mask in 2024 especially outside and you're 20 years old when the risk to you from dying from <laughs> is like one out of a million get a clue that just makes people think that those people doing that are definitely being paid by George Soros one of the little red pill rant there. Moon landing was fake. Earth is flat. I don't know what I'm talking about. But it just what makes you realize, like, dude, what the hell is going on with these people and these developers and these people that make these video games? Who are you? You're millennials. That's who you are. No offense to most of your millennials watching this video, but millennials and Gen Zs are utterly are going to, you know, boomers as well. Those people are compound saying they're like dumb as millennials, but they got more money and they stole all of everything and they live in a great life and they're selfish pricks. So... Up yours, boomers. But honestly, these millennials working at these developer studios, dude, your priorities are like worrying about stupid stuff that doesn't actually, you know, make the world a better place. It's actually leading us down a hole of updates. They're not just ruining the game and making it a piece of shit. So let's uh, let's let, let's 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 uh, let's let's rally together and realize that uh, you, you're ruining everything. You're destroying the planet, destroying video games, and things are not going well. Things aren't getting better. Equality is not rising. It's going down. People are hating each other more. We're getting more divided. And your whole kumbaya nonsense DEI is just an utter failure. So rock and roll. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 Reloaded Update ruined the game. Just like if their developer ruins their update games and except for Fortnite, they seem to do a pretty awesome job or they rectify mistakes like that. But other than those guys, maybe Minecraft, I don't know. I can't think of anything. If you can think of a game that actually does updates without ruining the game, let me know. I'd like to see that developer. Last but not least, though, guys, really, bring it in. Bring it in. Really, really most importantly. I need you to stay black, question authority, and don't let the honky crack reptilian shape shift this building. Movie stars, paint, trench, seven levels inside, jogs, school, tell seven, let me know, Rosal Alza, food, and it was fake. Alza, no, it was fake. Alza, no, it was fake. White men, bring it down.